Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. It's the part three of the employee payroll management system. And today we're gonna to learn how to do the login. So head over to your project. The previous tutorial, we learned how to connect our database. And in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to do the login. And <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna open our database and we're gonna to go to tables. Um, and we're going to create a table. So right click, create table. We're going to name the table users. And we're going to have an ID. And that ID is integer, primary key, auto increment, and it's unique. And the second one is username. And we're going to have virtual and we have password. <coughs> That's password is virtual as well. And then we have a position. And it's a virtual as well. So click OK. Yes, and then you're gonna add then you're gonna add value, so you're gonna do here to so username admin and then the password is password and then division is admin. Yeah, click OK, yes, and successful. <clears throat> and there you, go. you can see the ID, the username, the password the, the, the password and the division. So minimize that and then go to your project, right click in here and your new folder and the images. I'll tell you why we need this later on. Uh, click on finish and then right click new JFrame form and we're going to log in, finish and there we go. So we're going to have one and that's two, three and four. <clears throat> now we're going to have one button we gonna need a combo box. There we go. And we're gonna need two text fields. That's one. And that's two. And just do this, do this. And there you need it. Please enter in your username and password. <coughs> that's the last thing of that. And then you're gonna need username. And then you're going to do password. So password. So there you go. You're just going to do this. That. And that. And there you go. So here you need to select division. Division. Yes. And there you go. There you go. And put it here. You can say. Login, right? And then here you're gonna do this. You're gonna clear. You're gonna do this. And you're gonna clear this. You're gonna right click here. You're gonna say change variable name. Txt username. <coughs> the second one, you're gonna right click change variable name. Txt password. Third one, just for the fun of it, txt combo. And you're gonna right click on our combo, you're gonna go to properties, you're gonna to go to model in here, and you're gonna delete all of those, you need them. You're gonna do admin and you're gonna do sales. Click OK, close. There you go. <clears throat> so now we gonna test it. Save, right to click, go run. There you go. You got the username, the password, the select division, the admin and sales, and the login. So I should only do this. So that's, that looks better. Right. Okay, save that. And now double click on your uh, login button. And we write our code in here. But before that, we're going to go up in here. And we're going to write some shit. So we're going to say connection card equals no. And you're going to say result. Set or S equals nine, and then you're gonna say prepared statement. PST equals no, and then you're gonna do this. Yes, and then you're gonna do this. Yes, and so I think I've got an error here, which is statement. Okay. Add and pour for Java dot SQL state. And there you go. So you're gonna go here under 
initiate component and you're going to do pom equals db which is our class dot java underscore db and you're set so <clears throat> we're going to write our string so we're going to string sql equals and we're going to say select id username password and the division the equation from users so table where open close bracket and do the open username equals <coughs> and password equals and division equals there you go and then you're gonna do try and then you're gonna have catch and you're gonna say exception a and you're gonna say j option k dot show message dialog and you're gonna say null and then you're gonna do this one now <coughs> there you go and then you're going to say in here you have an int and we're going to do count equals zero i'll tell you why we're going to use this later on the, the, int, uh, the integer pst equals count dot prepare statement sql there you go and then we're going to do pst dot <coughs> set string one and our username text is txt username don't forget that dot get text and we'll do this so the second one is pst dot set string two and the password so txt underscore password password dot get text and the third one is a combo box so set string <clears throat> three and then the txt combo dot get selected item dot two string and we're gonna do the rs equal pst dot execute query and then we're gonna do a string you're gonna call it access equals we're gonna say txt underscore combo box combo box dot get selected item dot two string <clears throat> I'll tell you what we're you're gonna use this later on so the second thing we'll need is essentially if access equal equal admin and we're gonna do this so the axis of the selected comma box equals admin we're gonna do something here and then after that we say if our count equal equal one we're gonna log in so j option and up show message dialog we're gonna say null and we're gonna say success there you go and then we're gonna go in here now i'm gonna right click new j form and we're gonna get main menu and we're just gonna do nothing i'm gonna save that i'm gonna close it <clears throat> and then now here if admin if, the, if our access is admin and if the count is one we're gonna view our main menu page so we're gonna say main menu, and we're gonna call it j equals new main menu and the j dot is visible and then you're going to say here true and we got an error 
So uh, set visible. So we need to do else. So if not, we're gonna have an option J option. J option. Okay, dot show message dialog. And we're gonna do null. And we're gonna say new um, the username. And password you enter the wrong. There you go. And <clears throat> finally, we will add a finally. <laughs> so we're gonna do we're gonna say finally. We're gonna have try and catch. We're gonna say catch. Exception A J option okay, dot show message dialog. We're gonna say actually we don't need this, so I'm just gonna do this. And we're gonna say RS dot close and PS3 dot and now we're going to need a while, so we're going to do while rs dot next, and then we're going to say count equals count plus one. And then here we're going to do this for dispose. You can save that. You're going to. Go back to your form. You can right click, you can go to properties, and you're going to default close operation. You can say dispose, and then close. You save that, you're going to go here to the code, you're going to right click anywhere, you're going to do run. Now, when you click on login, you're going to pass it into zero wrong. You do admin here. Same thing. If you insert any password, you know, it's going to say wrong, but if we do the password, correct, but sales, nothing, but if we do the admin, success, and there we go, this is the main menu page, so there we go, and um, thank you for watching this tutorial, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the part three.